So I thought I would just get ready for work and take you with me. I'm not going to do anything drastic, just need some skin makeup on. Um, and then I might chat a little bit about my plans for the next year and what I've got lined up and what's hopefully going to happen. If you're wondering why I have a huge Barney jacket on, it's because it's flipping freezing today. Like, unbelievably cold. Got like so much moisturizer and oil on my face. Okay, so I'm testing out some new makeup and I've been really enjoying it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, okay. Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup Healthy Glow with Vitamin Complex and Cranberry Water in the shade 20. Fresh Nude. It smells like skincare. Okay, so I love that foundation. I'm going to be filming a updated foundation routine, like a base routine for sure. Um, but this video is not so much about the makeup because, I mean, if it was, I would have invested in some better lighting. Um, I want to talk about my plans for the next year just because things are coming together really nicely and um, I don't know, like it's... What, what happened? Focus on me. It was a huge phase of indecision in my life in the last couple of months. And I've always had the issue of do I forfeit kind of what I've built in my career for my passion for travel and moving around. And this next year has been a true deciding factor for me in terms of what I'm going to do. Um, so I've spoken about it before, but I've been offered a job to do... An 11 week show called Bijou at the end of the year at the Cork Bay Theatre. Um, <clears throat> and I took that job. So I will be doing that show for 11 weeks throughout November, December, and January. And then that show will be going to Graham Sun National Arts Festival next year in end of June, end of June, end of June, beginning of July. So that is that. So that already keeps me in the country longer than I wanted to be, which is not a huge deal because this type of show is something I've always wanted to do. So I'll be doing that and then because I will be in the country until that time next year, they've also offered me a show in mid-February to about March, beginning of April. And that is a singing show and I have taken up the offer because it will also be going to Grahamstown in June, July next year, which is really cool. So basically, after I feel like after I've done these two shows, I'm gonna feel pretty content in what I've achieved here in terms of theatre. I know it's not a forever career for me, for sure. But then, the plan is, one year from now, my lease is one year as well, so 1st of September to 1st of September, so one year from now. Um, that's when I'll be hoping to get my UK ancestral visa. Now, that visa allows me, if I can successfully get it, allows me to work or study in the UK for five years. And once you're there for the five years, or I think you have to extend it for another year or so, if you're there for those five years, then you get your citizenship. Which is not necessarily what I'm looking for, per se. It's more the idea of being able to have a passport, a British passport. Because, I mean, obviously, a South African passport helps with sweet nothing. Um, in terms of visas and travel, etc. So, I mean, I'm going there for the experience of being there to grow my career. And to essentially end up with a passport and then that's when I'm gonna reassess the situation um, obviously I won't know until that stage whether I want to be staying in that country or if I want to be coming back home because don't get me wrong I love my home 
it's not so much that I hate it here and I want to leave, it's more so that I really want to go explore other places as well and kind of fend for myself and see what I'm capable of doing. Powder in the eye! So essentially I have my whole of my next year Oh my god. The whole of the next year lined up in terms of work. Um, I know there'll be times that are financially harder than others, for sure. Um, especially because I am moving out and I have to be paying rent and looking after myself and eating food and paying petrol, etc. So I know there's going to be harder times. But it's also very comforting knowing that I should be constantly making money and hopefully enough for me to be able to survive and to be able to save some because going overseas is going to be an expensive process not only to get there but to be able to survive in the initial times because I mean let's be honest there's no guarantee that I'm going to go over there and get a job in the next couple first months, you know. In fact, it's quite likely that I'll be looking for a job for quite a while. And on top of that, I don't even know what I'm looking for, so it doesn't make it any easier. Um, I do have quite a few friends there, and quite good friends. So they are, like, really there to um, give a helping hand. I have been to London before, I loved it so very much. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not the type of person who's going to go and randomly make new friends, go out in a pub and greet people, so I'm very grateful that I do have people there who can kind of get me going in that department. Actually, look like a Oompa Loompa. I think I'm gonna jump off camera quickly and do my eyebrows because I can't speak and do them at the same time. Mm -mm. Um, so basically, I will be all consumed by the theatre in the next year. I'm just gonna take some light brows from this, nothing serious. Um, which is not a trend smash. I mean, sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming in terms of the amount of time you spend there and the amount of time you have to spend with certain people. But I mean, it's the same as any job, I guess. If you're wondering how I ended up in the theatre, it's quite a long and interesting story. Um, I did drama in high school. And when I was in matric, which is my final year of school, I, my drama teacher, who'd actually worked at the Cork Bay Theatre when she was young and a student, had said the Cork Bay Theatre's got a vacancy for waiters, so they're looking for waiters. So I thought, I need a job. It was my first job that I ever got. I just called them up and said, I want to be a waitress, and they said, okay. I didn't need to give in a CV, I didn't need to meet them first. All that it was I went and I met them and they said, cool, you start on Tuesday. And that was four years ago, as of the 6th of September. And I spent two and a half years working there as a waitress. Um, a lot of things changed, they kind of grew and morphed as I was there. And last year, March, uh, they kind of overheard me singing and they said, do you want to be in a show? And I laughed and I said, are you nuts? Because I'd never done anything like it before. I mean, I'd done my school shows and school musicals, but I'd never expected to sing professionally or even do anything professionally on a stage in front of anyone. And anyway, they convinced me, they wrote me into it, and they said, we'll give you a small part. It'll be not very long on stage, easy songs to sing, etc." And 
and that was when I did my first show called Elton and Friends and they kind of just taught me the tricks of the trade and they were right it was a very um, starter beginner show to do in terms for me but I mean it was such a huge building block in my life in terms of what I was able to achieve um, and from there things have kind of just snowballed because they from there offered me another show in that year of September a year ago um, called His Master's Voice um, since then I've done another show called Alchemy of Rock which has also was at the National Arts Festival this year and obviously now as I've told you already I'm scheduled to do two more shows in the next six or seven months so I mean things have been great here and I'm also kind of very aware of the fact that this isn't a forever job for me. I'm not trained in theatre. I have a very niche voice that they use really well, but normal theatres wouldn't be able to do much with. So, I love this job, and I'm milking it. But in a year from now, it's going to be change time, and that's when we're going to go overseas. I'm just going to pop out some mascara. And then this look is almost done. Anyway, I kind of didn't want to film this as a tutorial or anything. Obviously, you can see it's not good enough to be a tutorial. I just kind of wanted to sit down and chat. And let whoever's watching this get to know me. I just put lipstick on. And I did it all for camera and I wasn't recording. What happens? But it's fine. I'm gonna move on from this moment. I'm gonna eat some dinner and then we're gonna head to the theatre. I'm okay. Thank you. 